happy Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. July 4th. So if you're an American and you're following me, happy 4th of July. I hope it's a good one. Enjoy your day off and uh, have a good one. So what do we do today? Well, so far, we've done a delivery up at the North Shore, up in Terrebonne. And uh, we're going to yeah, head back down to North Shore, stop in DDO at the... Uh, video and drop off my wife's phone because <laughs> she forgot it in the truck this morning oh I got to the warehouse and looked down and there it was in the center console I'm like oh, oh. she forgot it <laughs> she forgot her phone <laughs> oh it's the second time she does that so I'm gonna have to drop it off and um, so uh Holy gee, she's popular here because since I had it, they just going off constantly. People calling her, text messages, emails. Holy jumping. So right now, um, we just got done the one delivery. We're heading back down to the island of Montreal. And we're going to, like I said, drop off my wife's phone and then uh, imagine more deliveries. Uh, something to do with the 20 foot. I know he said we're going to be using the 20 foot for delivery probably due to weight, but uh, it's not even cracked open yet. It's not even open. The Kenworth is across the street to get the transmission looked at. It's probably a software problem, so they're just going to plug it plug it in the computer and see what's wrong. It's probably got a glitch someplace, and maybe there's a sensor or a wire or something, but there's something wrong with it, so it's over across the street getting looked at. I'm going to have to go there and get my vest and my hard hat and my safety glasses because everything is still in the truck. I'm gonna have to go do that, so stand by. Okay, why is that not close? Nah. Now it's close. All right. So we are switching trucks, going from the straight truck to the Freightliner. Why is the passenger side unlocked but the driver's side locked? It may be my fault. Yet the window is open and it's locked. Hmm. Smart. Okay. So we're switching trucks. And we're heading to Chabanel. But it's not textiles. Nope, it's fasteners. Fasteners, fasteners, fasteners. It is 10 pallets. Of fasteners. And the reason why we're using this truck is because fasteners are heavy. Really heavy. Yep. So we're going to go deliver these crates and then he said come back more deliveries. I got a feeling it's going to be another thing doing deliveries all day and then finish at around midnight. It's all coming at 8.30 tomorrow. Nope. Sorry. I'll let the air build up here. Anyway, so uh, see you when we get to the uh, blah, 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 blah. see you when we get to the customer and uh, that much. See, well, there was a dock, but they don't use it as a dock. They use it for storage. So I'm gonna go inside, check in, and oh, this is gonna be fun. At least they have a forklift. So we're gonna. What's that? You speak English? Okay. Oh, well, they're going on lunch in 10 minutes for 30 minutes, so I'm going to have to wait for, for um, ah, 40 minutes before I can even start getting out Oh, stand by. All right, well, that last delivery sucked. Um, no dock. Um, the, uh, the only jigger they had was a small, narrow one, so couldn't really get them into the skids. So they have to get um, straps, put them around the skids at the bottom, and pull them to the back of the trailer. And there's a bunch of nails in the bottom the trailer, so they're like, oh, return this to there. It's like, you have to pull the nails out. What nails? It's like I just said, there's nails in the floor. You have to pull them out. Ah, really? He asked me three times, what are you talking about, nails in the floor? What do you mean, nails in the floor? There's nails, and then the floor. You have to pull them out. Duh. 
Anyway, we got um, 10 skids, 173 boxes, just going to place us off 13 auto route. So we are on our route, on our way there now. They should be just getting off lunch. By the time we get there, had my lunch, so I'm good to go. Salmon. Num, num, num. You're not going to block me in, are you? Yes, you are. Anyway, stand by. Look at all the traffic going the other way. This is all because a Mini Cooper tried to stuff itself underneath a the Conline van in the construction area. I am not taking this way on the way back. Hell no. Look at these idiots. You know what? I'm gonna wait to the last possible minute. And then I'm gonna merge in. Yeah, there's, there's three of them there. I know the Land Rover wants in too. Oh, oh anyway, we we're heading back to the warehouse. I'm preparing myself to tell my boss that he's on crack. He said, oh, I need to do a 6 a.m. delivery tomorrow. And I got a sense he's gonna want me to do cans as well, which then I'm gonna finish like midnight. One o'clock in the morning. So it's like, pick one. Pick one. You either have a 6 a.m. delivery or containers. A sec, let me do something here. There, oh, I know, it's still kind of hazy. So it's pick one. What do you want? Three freshly loaded containers in your door in the morning or 6 a.m. delivery? And then I'll go do containers. But I can't do both. I can't do both. So anyway, it's about 4.30. Traffic is loaded bumper to bumper. Oh. And it's starting at 2.30. Like, where is everybody going? And it's hot, humid. Oh, I wish I had a pool. I know there's a public pool that's like $2. There's a pool really close to me, but it's um, you have to pay for a yearly membership, and it's like a couple hundred bucks, They're like 235 bucks for a family membership for the year. Really nice pool, though. Really nice pool. Ah. Oh. Anyway, we're heading back to the uh, warehouse. See what's up next. Time on.